Hi everyone, welcome back to the Edgewater Avenue YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to be making the Charlotte top, which is a fully reversible knotted bandeau style top with thick straps. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make some scrunch straps, which are kind of on trend right now. But if you want to do normal ones, you're more than welcome to. Also, if you prefer thin straps, then that's an option too. For materials, you're gonna need a half yard of swimwear fabric, quarter inch swimwear elastic, one inch swimwear elastic. If you don't have one inch elastic or quarter inch, there's a link in the description to my Etsy shop where you can find some. A loop turner, pins and clips, an acrylic ruler or something that will cut straight lines, and scissors or a rotary cutter. I'm using the pattern for the Charlotte top, which will be available at edgewateravenue.com. It will also be linked in the description. The first step is cutting our pieces. Since this top has some pretty sharp curves, I'm cutting on the fold, and so I've assembled just half of the pattern. For the front piece as well as the back, I'm going to cut two in the lining and two in the outer fabric. As you can see, I'm using the same lemon printed fabric for both the lining and the outer. And that's because when the knot is tied, the lining will show through, and I want it all to match. Then I'm gonna cut two straps according to the measurements provided in the pattern. Since I'm making my straps scrunched, I'm actually gonna be cutting them about two to two and a half times the actual length of what I want my straps to be in the end. Next, match your front pieces and back pieces with right sides together. Pin and sew the top and bottom lines for both pieces. If you're using quarter inch elastic, attach it as you go. When you attach elastic onto the front piece, you're going to trim it before you get to the knotted area. This will help prevent bulk in that area and help you tie the knot neater later on. Next, we're gonna focus on the straps. Use a fabric marker to create the placement for your straps. I recommend putting them at the apex of the curve on the top. Once you've marked where you want your straps to go, take a seam ripper and open up the seam. Now fold each of your straps in half and sew the raw edges. Don't use elastic during this step. Afterwards, you can use a loop turner to bring each strap to the right side. Now cut your one inch elastic according to the measurements in the pattern. This measurement will be what you want your final strap length to be. Using a loop turner again, thread the one inch elastic through the strap piece we cut. Since the elastic is shorter, you will need to scrunch the strap as you go. And this is how the scrunch effect is done. Once your elastic is all the way through, stitch down each end so the elastic is now attached to the strap. Insert each strap inside of each strap opening that we made with the seam ripper. Sew back over each one, which will complete one side of your straps. Take the front piece all the way to the right side. Now it's time to tie the knot. Once you're happy with the way your knot looks, bring your back piece back into the picture. With your front piece still to the right side, insert it inside of the back piece, making sure right sides are together. Our goal is to match up each side. Once you're able to match the sides, sew across all four layers to secure. With the back piece still inside out, Mark a one to two inch hole where the tag would usually go. You will also mark where you want each of your straps to go. I recommend putting your straps about three and a half inches in from each side seam. Through the hole we left where the tag goes, take the entire top to the right side, straighten it out, 
and then insert your straps into each strap opening. Once you like the placement of the straps, reach back into the hole and sew down each strap from the inside. Finally, finish off the last hole with a top stitch or an invisible stitch. And here's how it turned out. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you'd like to see some more photos of the Charlotte top, then visit edgewateravenue.com or click the link in the description. Thank you again and I'll see you in the next one.